some cars in Wyandotte County. Well, that's what he had asked. So we. So we couldn't recover this earlier. <clears throat> Were you live on this earlier? Yeah. Okay, so your viewers will know what's up. So for whenever someone jumps on, we couldn't recover it earlier with the skid steer. It was, uh, it's too heavy. It's all silted in. So uh, we got the big equipment now. All right, let's see her come out. Uh, so, uh, Chaos Divers, we uh, found this earlier, started to pull it out, and it wouldn't. Um, the skid, they have skid steer with a uh, rotator winch on it, and this thing's just too heavy. It's fully uh, silted in. So now we finally got a big excavator down here to pull her out because she's he she's heavy and you can't step in any of that uh, sludge over there. It's like knee deep and it's it's some sticky stuff. That's my only I got you. Hey everyone. Sometimes just embrace the chaos. You like to speak a little louder because that camera. Only thing is on the mic on the back side. I know. I need to get one of those. They have plug in mics for them. I need to get one of those. Oh, thank you for doing this. Mm -hmm. It's just a good time. Yeah, we got 36 right now. All right. I don't know, but I didn't turn on the live chat. Uh, there's a chat option. I keep seeing chat. There you go. All right, here we go. Oh. We're going to pull that bumper plum off. Yep. I don't think that. I, whoa. They have a lot more faith in that bumper than I do. Well, if we can just get it in dry land, we can get underneath there, underneath that, yeah. Wow. You guys need, you guys need a, you guys need a hitch of a, of a Hummer, Jesus. Oh, they make it look, they make it look easy. off to the side just a little bit here. Oh yeah, definitely an oops. Well, it looks like uh, over here we have some tow hooks, so they might spin her around and get her out. But uh, I can't get any closer to show you guys, but the uh, silt is pretty much all the way up to the window line. 
No, we never got it cleared because we were stuck in the water. So if we open that door and look for anything, everything could uh, fall out into the water. And that's just not a uh, fun time. But looking in the vehicle, it's very hard to determine anything because the uh, headliner is falling down and there's so much silt that you just, you just can't see anything. But she's definitely been down here a while. I'm just showing them the all right, cool. Hummer. And I believe all the police officers still over there yep. outside. Yeah, all the police officers are way over there on your side of that bridge. You don't have any of them out here. Let's go up the hill, show you from the back side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hop back down there by you. All right, here you guys go. We just connected to this rear wheel, driver's side. We'll see if it holds or not. I think it's gonna snap. We just ripped the axle off. Oh, I don't know. We might have to. Hey, I'm gonna give this to you and see if they need help. Yeah, I'm just gonna see. All right. Give him a good spot. Give him a good view. All right. One ish issue with getting this thing any closer is right let's zoom in right here it's a big drop off it doesn't really look like it but right here at that dirt that's all um oh, what's the word it's all uh, pushed forward from the uh skid loader so if they get any closer forward it's gonna be uh, dangling pretty good So we actually found the VIN on the front and we ripped it off and the uh, VIN is so corroded and worn away, it just looks like a flat strip of metal. You can't make out a single, um, single number or letter or anything.
Yeah, nothing's been confirmed except for it's a Hummer. It's all we all we know right now. Once we get it up this hill, we can clear it and see if we can identify it. Give you a view of the back over here. You can see all the damage we've done. So you can see what they're doing right now. They're coming up from here over the uh, over the Hummer and they're gonna yank it out from there. Um, this hill right here from when we were trying to drag it out completely, almost, it's pretty much completely ripped out. So we'll see what it does when we try and strap lift it out of the ground. Yep, I don't want to be around with that if it snaps. So the fire department could later. Right now the issue is everything will run down. There she goes. Definitely destroying that one. What are you talking about? Good little, good little rinse off. Throw some oil in it. She'd fire right up. No, it's a, a it's someone's gloves.
incredible. Uh huh. Incredible. <laughs> you really know how to do something to them. Mm -hmm. It's chaos, right? Absolutely. a good shot of that undercarriage. Get out of the way real quick. Come on, we're almost there. Hey, at least the skid plate's nice and clean. All right, once I get it up, we'll hike up the hill and get a better look. There you go. Oh, this is crazy. Finally getting it up. That'll buff right out. Now the water. We got it out. Now we're gonna be able to, uh, good job. Now we're gonna be able to. Uh, I really need it all the way up top. <laughs> he said I really need it all the way up top. Well, because hey, that one place over there that was full of water, there's a place over there that was full of water. All they did was just fill it in. I can't get it. I'm back, yeah. Sorry, I was making sure we got it clear. I needed to lend a hand at all. All right, sorry about the buffering. I think I figured out just to... But that is a lot steeper than what it looks like. Don't scuff the paint. We'll try not to scuff the paint. We'll stay back while Jacob's clearing it right now. Hey, Jacob, clear? Who? Josh? Josh? Josh. All right. Oh, sorry. A little buff and it'll be back on the road. It might need the rear axle fixed a little bit, but. Hey. A plank owner on the west, on the Pittsburgh. That is awesome. I was there not long before decommissioning. I left in 2012 and I think it got decommissioned in 2014 or 2016. I'm not sure yet. He's not really. He's getting his magnet off. Hey, is it clear enough to walk up? It is. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There's the headliner all come down. There's one of our gloves. And the back seat. Yes, the Hummer is cleared. In the back all sorts of issues getting this thing out you can see why hummers by themselves are pretty heavy and the amount of mud in here 
Embrace the chaos. Headliners removed because race car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that's the Hummer removal. We got the look inside of it. It's cleared out. The rest, we're just going to be getting it on the tow truck. Thank you for coming back. Sorry for the delay. We finally got it up that hill. Uh, my estimate, five to ten years. It's been down there a little while. Um, but thank you guys for for all the subs subscribers today i think i got like 200 new subscribers oh that thing probably weighs every bit of 10,000 plus pounds right now with all that mud um but thank you guys i'm gonna get out of here we're gonna get cleaned up so we can get some dinner here with billy in a few minutes so with that again like sincere thank you for everybody for joining uh I appreciate it. I can't explain how much I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Embrace the chaos. Bye.